Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide series. <laughs> uh, and today we want to start with some research because I realized we haven't queued anything. We were using um, the time to have extra hands cleaning up the base. So I think the first thing I want to get is the fire pole. Uh, not that I really have the copper to build such a thing, but <laughs> the principle is there. Let's maybe start digging out some copper. Uh, I'll probably end up making this area into ranching at some point in the near future. Let's just do that actually. Let's get all that cleared out. Then we can dig out these and another layer of that. So we'll get the fire poles. This will help them go much quicker uh, through the base. As you can see, I did end up changing this in the middle of the last episode. Hello, let's see. Fingers crossed for our cook. Fried mushrooms would be good. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Don't want either of those two, really. So, some fried mushrooms. Ooh, we got a colony achievement. Always good. What do we got? It's not raw. Have a duplicate eat any cooked meal prepared from the grill or the gas range, which we did not do. Uh, but they did get to eat cooked stuff, so that's good. It does remind me that I need to check where our food stores are at. Because <laughs> I have a hunch they're not doing, like, the best. Alright. So, let's check that. Okay, we're actually doing alright. I'm actually going to change this door, come to think of it, to a manual airlock. I don't really need all our oxygen in this space, which is what that door is allowing. So if we put this guy here instead, it'll only put air in there when they're traveling. So we have a cool steam vent over here. Eventually we can have someone come over here and scan it and that'll tell us things like when it's active, how long in between of them, and all of that. So we do have a good source of water. It's going to be quite warm. As you can see, this stuff's not too bad, but this is going to start heating up this whole area soon. So that's something we'll want to start doing is converting some of the insulated tile, which I don't believe we've researched yet. No, right here. So that's going to be uh, on the list soon. The other thing I'm considering researching soon is here. And this will give us quite a bit of research. Um, but I'm looking for these um, Atmo suits. So it means they can like run through water and it won't make them sick. It will provide them oxygen when they're going through areas without oxygen. It protects them from temperatures and stuff. What is this? So that is something I want to start working towards. Uh, I don't think he has the stuff for ranching just yet. No. That's what we'll be doing on our next perk for him. I guess we'll go with the improved carrying since that will give her a boost to her morale and it'll just be nice to have. How's our water system doing? Doing pretty good. Not backing up anywhere, which is what I want to see. I think next I maybe set up the water lock. I know they'll be upset that they're getting wet every time they go through here, but should be all right. It wasn't long ago they were swimming to get their water, so I'm going to put one of these here. Wow, they built that fast. Okay. Um, nope, not all that. Just water. And then we're going to want to say auto bottle, which means they will go here and grab water to put into it instead of only being allowed to use bottles that are around. So let's go ahead and auto bottle. And then we do not want to leave this. <laughs> we don't want to flood the whole area or anything like that. What we're trying to do is fill this spot with water and then these two with just a little bit of water. And that will create a water lock where air cannot go in between them. So let's disable that and see what how much this one bottle does for us. Okay, so now you can see... Oh, there we, we need another one. But that's what we're aiming for, is for this to be con 
have a bit of water in it. Because as soon as there's a little bit of water in a square, it can no longer have air in it. So technically this works, this little bit of water here uh, would work, but there's just weird situations where the water might move or if they carry something really hot through water, it can evaporate some of the water. And so it's very easy to accidentally destroy a, a liquid block that uses just this little corner. So that's why we want this extra safety with these, the three or four blocks full of water. All right, while I wait for that, let's do some research. I'm torn the more I've thought about it. Um, going to this next, I think maybe more power related stuff would be better. Um, Transformers, yeah. I guess maybe this is what I'll work on next and then we'll do the suits. That's we're really not in anything too dangerous yet for our dupes. They'll just have to be sad that they went in water. Another thing, do we have... Oh, actually... That's gonna take quite a bit of research, I think. Uh, let's do ranching first. And then power, and then suits. <laughs> Ooh, we're getting close. I might do just one more to maybe make these a little more secure in the amount of water that's here. But this guy's no longer dropping down, so that's what we're aiming for. So I think I'll do one more bottle and then turn it off. Thank you, Nesbitt. So yeah, now you can see they're gonna complain about the water, but it's okay. All right, there we go. Look at lock established. Ooh, uh, that does mean that we finished our research on the um, fire pole. Ladder, yes. You have to be careful because there's some cords back there. Fire pole. All right. So we're gonna want that to go from here down. They're very skilled. They can stop anywhere on the fire pole to jump off. So I'm looking over here. This is gonna be another bedroom, another bathroom. I wanna move this guy out of this area. Um, so I might... Uh, so bathroom, maybe this guy I'm gonna clear out. And um, make a new room in here. I don't want to get too close to this water. What we'll end up doing is digging down this side and then pulling it down into this uh, chamber later. Not too big of a deal at the moment though. The problem is, is the further you get into this game, the more things you're going to have going on at the same time. Like when you first start, it's like, okay, everyone can work on making a bathroom, but now there's so many things you can be going, like building towards all at the same time that can be hard to concentrate and hard to remember what you were doing. <laughs> How's our power doing? We do have a potential load higher than these wires are ready for. So if everything that can consume power went off at the same time, we'd start having damaged wires. So it is a good idea that to be going towards working on the power system next instead of the, the Atmos suits. Come on, cook. We've got ranching and cooking. Oh no. Um... Um, so this isn't the best cook I could go for. Um, like one of the, the trait that she has is not related to the work we're going to be having her do, which is cooking. Ranching's a bonus because if she ever has time where she's not cooking, that would be nice for her to be able to do. Um, but it sucks that that's un unrelated. This is okay. Uh, I've never had anyone who won't sleep in the dark. Uh, so we'll have to get a light. But I do think I'm starting to need another duplicate. So I'm going with a subpar choice. <laughs> Welcome to the colony. She's earned a skill point, which is nice. So let us look. Oh, I'm sorry. Unrested, afraid of the dark. Okay, um, furniture, there's a ceiling light. Uh, we build it 
here in the corner. It could just light this corner one. So if we go over here, I feel like that one. I'm afraid that the light is probably going to um, be lighting two beds. I wonder if I put it like here. We went up one more, if that would reach her. All right, let's go ahead and try that. I don't want this affecting someone who doesn't want the light like Nesbit. And I think putting it over here might affect both these beds. So I'm seeing if I put it like basically a hull light on for this dupe, if that'll work. Oh, that's a lot of sand. We need to make sure to dig that up. So if we were to take that light and put it here, that does not reach her. So maybe if we do that. Okay. okay I know that that sand has fallen. We're gonna have to make sure to dig that out. <laughs> oh, I should probably set up our new character. I have researcher at night. Yeah, no problems with her being on that first schedule. All right. Cooking is her first priority. Probably very high. And then after that, she'll ranch. Research complete. So that will put us here. So now we can go into stations to make this into a room where we can start ranching. Uh, we're going to need a grooming station. A lot of times what people will do when it comes to uh, ranching is instead of having like this long room to give the creatures the space that they require so we can look in room overlay stable um to give them like the required space instead of going like this they'll have like a really small space and then a very tall area so that what the station does is the rancher will come here and groom the creatures um and they have to like whistle for it and wait for it to run over to the table and then get up on it so by making it a very short but very tall area is they still have the space required but they don't have very far to travel when they're called to the grooming table. It feels weird to me to shove them in a very tiny space with a really high ceiling and act like that gives them what they need but you know we finally have a cook. Did we give her her skill? No. So she already started up with this one which is fun. Uh, let's start with grilling so she can use this guy, which we haven't had anyone able to do up till now. So I'm gonna put the microbe musher to an eight. So it's a slower priority than the grill. I'm sorry, I know it's scary. Soon we'll have a hall light for you. So let's check our farmer. He does farming and ranching at a pretty high priority. Let's take cooking down. Since now we have a, an actual cook, we can have him doing other stuff. All right, and then I'm moving this guy into this room. I've had to extend the power over into that area. Now that we have this uh, fire pole, you can see over here the long commutes have gone away, which is what that was the goal. Hey, we made barbecue! And research complete. So we now have heavy watt wires. Okay, that's all good stuff. I'm very excited to see if in the morning she's happy now that we have the light working. Okay, the hall light is working for her, so that's good. And we can check that here so we can see just enough light for her. It does make me think that had we put this light over here or above here, it would have had a two bed effect. So the hall light was the right answer for now. Now we're just waiting for. Um, probably Frankie to get enough uh, experience to get some skill points so we can make them a rancher. Nesbet got a point. Not who we want, but good. Yeah, super hard digging should be fine. And then after that, improved carrying. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Pay the bills. Use a duplicate skill tree to buy out an entire branch. Nice. All right, so we're moving the storage bin for everything over one so that we can have a sink here at the end just in case duplicates um, get gross stuff out when they're exploring they'll wash their hands before bringing it into the base. I believe somebody else got a new skill. 
Frankie. Oh, yes. Okay. Good ranching. So now we can use this tool, capture creatures. Uh, okay. Hold on. This will be our next power source, the hydrogen generator. That's in a bit. We're going to need a creature drop off here. And we're want, we'll want a thing to feed our creatures. Okay. So now we have a creature drop off. Let's go with hatch and hatchlings which are those little guys that are running around our base. And now let's collect any hatchlings that are about. Watch this duplicate to be like the best cook we've ever seen. Oh, thank God. That's not the case. Um, I've seen quite a bit of fertilizer, fertilizer around the base, so let's go with that instead. Uh, let's go ahead and give our a little hatchling and hatch sandstone. Um, feeding hatchlings or any creatures, um, different things will change the pot potential for a certain uh, variants to be born. So by feeding these guys sedimentary rock, we'd be more likely to get ourselves a stone hatchling. Uh, if we were to feed them dirt, we'd be more likely to get a sage hatchling, etc. I do believe we had, unless it hatched, uh, we did have a egg down here. Or well, maybe it's in here. Oh, it was in there. Okay. So if you have eggs, what you can do is get a storage bin. And just set that right there. Uh, you want to keep an eye on these guys. They will get unhappy if there is too many of them in the same area. So it's something we want to be aware of. We've also got some skill points. I guess we can go here. But yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on and if we get too many in the room, it'll say it's crowded. And then what we'll probably do is just um, turn them into barbecue. <laughs> so I saw our research was done. I guess we could let her clean just a little bit more. Uh, no, actually, let's have a look into insulative titles. If we're going to be setting up a big power system here, it's going to start getting really warm. So let's try to avoid that. We've got this guy, so let's do creature eggs. Uh, actually, let's be careful about that. I don't really want the shine bugs in there. So let's just do hatchlings. Um, like you can tame these guys and everything, but they just kind of take up the space and we don't get anything for having them around. So I'd rather them just kind of existing around and being pretty, but not taking up my rancher's time. Once the eggs are in here, we're going to want to drop them because I don't think they can hatch while they're in storage. And what will happen is they'll actually like rot. Is this on sweep only? Stop it. Don't throw the egg down the stairwell. <laughs> so I guess I need to sweep these eggs. I'm just setting, starting up. Um, I'm building up this room. It'll allow for more space for uh, the carbon dioxide to pool in for right now since we don't really have anything for this room. But it also means there's more places for them to travel, which will give them more options to have like the shortest route. Nope, we're getting the little guy wrangled. There we go. And he's just gonna get delivered up here with all the rest. What's our water system doing? I never remember which one it is correctly. Ooh, maybe we're about to see this work. Yep, there we go. So this is now completely filled up. Filled up. Completely fill. Or full, one of the two, not both. Uh, and so it's putting it here for now. We can build another one of these. Just a little extra space for the clear, uh, clean, quote unquote, water to go into. I don't care too much about how this room looks like, so I might just <laughs> send this up this pipe instead. I'm hoping this doesn't get too backed up along this. It might be something we have a bit of a problem with. If I, that's the case, I may need to have a weird system where it comes into this spot here and then it decides, but that's a later problem. Also, it should be noted, if you wrangle a creature and they get all their little feetsies tied up, 
if you leave them for too long, they will escape again. So uh, if you haven't built like your drop off or something, there's no real point in like wrangling them up and hoping that eventually you'll be able to put them away. You only really want to wrangle them when you're ready to put them somewhere. Another thing you can do now that we're into the ranching, uh, these fish right here, if you can get a paku uh, and drop them off into like your water source, even if you don't feed them or do anything with them, in their lifetime, they'll always lay one egg, which you can see they've been doing. Um, and and then when they die, they'll just make a little bit of meat. Uh, so it's kind of like a free source of fish. It's slow. You have to wait for them to live their full life or whatever. But they'll, they'll lay an egg. They'll die. A new one will replace it. You just get free fish every once in a while. So if you can get some of those into your water source, that's good. To do that, you will need, uh, you'll probably need to go up to this point where you can get fish, and tracks and traps, swimming fish, uh, and then you use a fish release into your water source. You can feed them, but I've actually not been able to get that to work. Not entirely sure what I was doing wrong, but I did something wrong and I couldn't get it working. So we may have to explore that once we get uh, access to some of the fish. So when it comes to these guys, um, so now we're cramped, so we need to remove a hatch. Um, the reason we want to keep these guys around is they make coal, which we can use to make power. Um, stop rubbing the mic. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, more food has decayed. So that's another reason we want to keep these hatches besides just a source of meat. So since these guys are cramped, what I do is I look for the oldest one and that's the one I um, have them attack. Attack that guy. It does count the number of eggs in here. So here we can see in the room overlay and you hover, you can see how much space there is. And by design, it is the maximum size for this room type. And you can see it has nine creatures, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actual creatures here. <laughs> one actively pooping. Uh, so you can see that the other two that make up the nine are these eggs. So keep that in mind. Oh, our storage is full. So why is everything red and yelling at me? I'm very excited that this is getting done. Um, ah, dang it. <laughs> we now have a very good cook. I don't think I've ever seen someone with a plus nine to something plus another thing. Pretty impressive. Won't do a machinery. Falls asleep every once in a while is pretty annoying. It's quite disruptive. We want another doom. <laughs> is that a bad idea? I feel like that's probably a bad idea. Oh look, it's snowing again. You'd think it'd be spring now, but it's not. It's snowing. <laughs> I got to take a bunch of pictures um, before it snowed. So I got to do some before and after pictures. So here are those because I want to show off my pictures. <laughs> well, I consider what to do about this dupe. I'm doing it. Let's do it. Let's just have another dupe. Uh, that does mean we need another one of these. Combat! Go get him, Nesbitt. So let's grab this, uh, nope, this guy and build a copy. There. Um, uh, one of these can support five duplicates in general. That's a good rule to go off of. So two of these will support a base of ten. So let's just go ahead and get that built. Usually I built both of them pretty early in the beginning, but very unnecessary. That's why I didn't do it in this um, playthrough. Uh, let's build a copy of that guy. We'll also have some algae there. In the future, if we want, we can automate this system. Oh, it's good. Oh, it takes the fancy metal. Okay. Let's just do that so I can start converting that. Um, Ooh, I really derailed myself there. Give me a second. Ooh, uh, I think I was talking about automation. So we can get 
I don't think we've researched it yet. This guy right here. The auto sweeper. So something we could do is have one of these here. And what it'll do is it'll take um, the algae from here and then just put it in here by itself. It doesn't need any duplicates to handle that. I will be using one of those in the power system to automatically load coal into the coal generator. Oh, look at them go. Oh, did I get <laughs> Hopefully I didn't tell them to sweep right there. I don't need them placing the things right underneath it. There we go. So I think that'll be the uh, this episode. Uh, we've gotten two new tubes. Uh, ooh, speaking of, we want Lyra to be on this other schedule. We don't need the two cooks on the same schedule. Um, and then prioritizing cooking. Let's go ahead and take that down a notch. And then they can help farm after that. Let's get you on grilling. Perfect. So we got the two dupes. Uh, we got ourselves a little nightlight for one of them. We've set, we've moved this over and we've started really expanding the base. We've built these two rooms, that one. We've got these going. We've learned fire poles. We started ranching. We've talked a lot about automation, though we're not using it. This is that they're um, uh, falling asleep anywhere problem, but that's all right. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.